Okay, so my son wanted Kraft macaroni and cheese, and I thought I'd make it a little better by making my own cheese sauce. So I will probably add maybe a tablespoon of like the powdered cheese just for flavor, but this is my attempt at making boxed macaroni better. I will be making a roux with flour. Here I have four tablespoons of butter. I'll probably add four tablespoons of flour. I have, this is somewhere between two, two and a half ounces of cream cheese that I softened. I will be adding some smoked paprika, onion powder. Here I have some half and half. This is a mixture of cheddar and Colby Jack cheese that I mixed. And I will be adding the yolk of one large egg. So all of this together is just gonna make this creamy, delicious baked mac and cheese. So I am starting to boil the water to, to boil the, the macaroni, the elbow macaroni in. Uh, but I'll let that come up to a boil and salt it a little bit later, but I'm going to work on the roux. So before starting the roux or the cheese sauce process, I do want to remove the package of that powdered cheese. And you don't have to use this, especially if you're making your own cheese sauce. But I really want to get, I want to capture the boxed macaroni flavor and just make it a little, you know, better, creamier. Okay, so, oops. I think I'm gonna do like two tablespoons of that. I'm not gonna use it all. Probably half of what's in here. Start making my cheese sauce. Going in with, I'm thinking I should do, yeah, let's melt down. And I have this, oops, I'll turn this lower. I don't want this super high heat. Just like this medium low heat. Melt down. I think like three tablespoons of unsalted butter works for this. I'm gonna add in a little bit of smoked paprika, a shake of granulated onion powder. This is, oops, there we go. Now I'm going in with, let's start with three tablespoons. I think that'll work of all-purpose flour. It's like equal parts flour to butter. Now let's cook the roux. There we go. So I'm going in with my cheese powder. I want to make sure there's no clumps or lumps, so I think it should go in this part of the process, which it did kind of clump it up. That's okay. <laughs> it's gonna work. And I want to make this as smooth and creamy as possible. Okay, so I kind of tasted it. I really think I could use the entire package of this cheese powder. But like I said, if you're going through the trouble of making a cheese sauce, you know, if you want to skip the, the cheese powder, go for it. But I'm really just, just trying to elevate what I'm working with in that box. Okay. There we go. That works. Okay, so let's go in with the cream cheese. Like I said, this is close, like somewhere between two to three ounces of softened cream cheese goes into this. Do. I think this is fine. Okay, shutting off the heat, and this is done. Okay, so I'm going to just add, I'm not adding tons, maybe like half teaspoon of salt, or like, there we go, maybe a three quarters to a full teaspoon. I am going to mix that. Going in with my pasta, or my elbow macaroni. Oops, give that a mix, bring it to a boil, and cook. Um, using the directions on the package. So let's see. Here we go. That's the directions on the package. And it says seven to eight minutes of cooking and boiling. Okay, so I am using a pie plate to bake this. And I just took a little bit of softened butter and I'm going to spread it all over the surface area of the pie plate. This, I believe, is an eight inch pie plate. And it's not a deep dish, so just to kind of gauge 
where I'm baking this mac and cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna separate. I mean, you could use the whole egg if you want. I'm just gonna go for the yolk. So. There we go. Okay, so this is done. Uh, reserve maybe a quarter cup of the pasta water and I'm gonna shut this off and drain the rest. Okay, pasta's drained, so it's going right back into the pot. Um, I keep calling it pasta, I mean, it's elbow macaroni. I know some people are like, that's not pasta, it's... <laughs> okay, I am going to temper my egg yolk with a tablespoon of that reserved water, boiling water, and just give that a mix with the yolk. Oops, and try not to spill it. Sorry, make a mess. There we go. Going in, my tempered egg yolk. This is so it doesn't curdle when it hits the hot ingredients. Okay. Now your cheese sauce goes in. Okay, this is definitely going to be, I'm not awkwardly doing this. Now I'm gonna take just a handful of the cheese and add that into the pot and give it a really good mix. Oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be really good, it smells good. And you'll want to taste it for seasoning and salt and adjust to your preference. You'll notice I did not add any salt into this recipe uh, because that that cheese, the, the powdered cheese package that comes with the mac and cheese, it, um, you know, it has sodium in it. So, but, you know, taste it and uh, add what you prefer. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little different. I am going to add a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese to the bottom of my pie dish here. I want to see if this will give me a nice crust on the bottom. It may not, and it's just extra cheesiness. I don't know. And I have a little bit left, so I'm just going to add it into the cheese here. And just mix that up. That's going to go on top. Okay. Now let's go in with our mac and cheese. I mean, dare I call this a mac and cheese pie? <laughs> so now just add the cheese on top. And I probably used about six ounces of cheese in this shredded cheese. And the amount really is up to you. If you're feeling saucy and cheesy, well, this recipe is for you. Okay. Okay, so there we go. I think that'll work. Okay, uncovered going into my 400 degree Fahrenheit oven until the top is cheesy, golden brown, and bubbly. Okay, so I just put this in my oven and I actually think the macaroni doesn't need to cook that long and I just dropped the temp. So I'm gonna bake this at 425. And I had it at like 20 minutes. We'll see if 15, 20 minutes at 425 works. Okay, so the reason why I cranked up the heat uh, to bake the mac and cheese is because I realized, okay, it's already cooked. It's smaller in size as opposed to like the larger elbow macaroni that a lot of people use when they do homemade mac and cheese. So you essentially could just broil it until it gets bubbly, golden brown, and crispy on top. But I'm just going to test out the 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and see how that works. But you know, broiling is another way to achieve that cheese crust. Okay, 425, 15 minutes, and this is what we have. Ooh, careful. And make sure you put it on a baking sheet. You don't want it to like spill in the oven. So good. I'm gonna scoot it that way. Okay. So yeah, macaroni and cheese, 
but better uh, boxed edition or macaroni pie not even sure what I'm gonna title this but it looks so good and that 425 15 minutes did yield a nice golden brown cheese crust I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.